guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. It feels so good to actually do my intro again and just be vlogging again. It has been forever and I'm so excited to be back. But before I even start the vlog, I do just want to say thank you so much for the overwhelming amount of support that I got on my video. When I made that video, I truthfully just figured because I lost so many subscribers from just being absent for a year, like thousands and thousands of um, subscribers I lost during that time. I just thought like so much of my audience was gone. And so to get so much support from you guys and all of the sweet comments, I have read all of them. I haven't had a chance to reply to everyone, but I replied to a bunch of them last night and it means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. And I really hope that, you know, you enjoy the vlogs again. Um, we're just doing a little productive workday vlog. Um, I might actually make this like a few days, but I have a couple of meetings this morning, so I'm just gonna be doing computer work and then I have a content shoot a little bit later this afternoon. I have been digitally planning again, which I've been loving. I actually got um, an iPad mini a while back, but it's new to you guys because I haven't vlogged in so long. Um, and I've been using this and taking it everywhere with me and it's just really convenient. Between my computer and the big one, it's really good for planning out my week and like doing that part of it. But this is great for just on the go. Once I have all the plans in there, checking things off, um, and just, you know, kind of having something to follow that's really easy to throw in my bag and bring with me everywhere. supplements and now I am about to head out to this content shoot. Touched up my makeup again really quick and I really don't want to go out because it's so gloomy but I'm just really grateful that it stopped raining finally so at least I don't have to go out in the rain. I'm gonna let Trooper out really quick before I go just so he can go pee and he straight up refuses to go outside when it's raining so I have to take advantage of the fact that it's not raining right now. So here's another look at why I love the iPad mini. I also got this case on Amazon and it has like little folders and stuff. So I have business cards in here, which is convenient because for some reason before I started doing this, I always needed business cards when I didn't have them. But whenever I would have them on me, I never needed them. So now I always have them because I always have this with me. I'm not bringing my camera because I'm just doing social content. So I don't need like my DSLR, but I um, did recently get a gimbal just mainly for using for my clients. So I like to bring this with me so I can get nice crispy cinematic shots. So it's actually not as gloomy outside as I thought it was because this morning it was way gloomier out. It actually looks like it cleared up a lot. So now I'm wondering if it's going to keep raining or not, but I'm kind of glad I left the house because it was affecting my mood and I was just like, I don't know, being cooped up in there sometimes when it's raining and I think it's going to be like that, like I'll just stay in for the most part. I mean, I had to leave today because I have this content shoot, but other than that, I wouldn't have even thought twice about staying inside and now I'm kind of glad that I got out. Oh my god you guys it's almost five. I've been back home for like the last two hours. Content shoot was like an hour and a half or so and then I had to get gas and come back home and I just feel kind of fried. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to take Trooper on his nightly walk. I try to take him on a long walk every night as long as it's not raining and it's not so we're gonna go on our walk. Um, I just got changed. I'm wearing this cute little one piece set thing i mean it's not really a set i guess it's literally just one piece but it's kind of like a tennis one piece sort of a thing because it's like a squirt that's built in and it is so comfortable i wish i could link it for you guys but i got it a really long time ago off tiktok shop i don't know how i got influenced to buy this actually i do the person was really convincing and i don't regret it at all it was super cheap i feel like it was like eight dollars or something and it's really cute it's perfect for walking oh yeah and then this little bag that i got um which i have is poop bags in and I can put my phone in it and anything else I need. I actually got this super long ago in a PR package from Urban Outfitters. So you guys might actually remember me 
doing an unboxing of this and I was like, I have no clue what I'm gonna use this for and it wasn't until I moved in here that I literally took the tags off of it and I was like, this is gonna be my walking bag because it's like perfect, I put the bags in here and I, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I just did that because I just remembered that I ran out of the roll. I have more in here. Um, but like you put the roll in here and it comes out, it's perfect. I'll show you. See, it looks like it was literally made for this and it is the perfect dog walking bag. I had no use for it until now and now I use it all the time, it's perfect. I didn't vlog the last few hours. I took Trooper to the dog park. He got to run around and play with the other dogs and I was there for like an hour. Came home, I was gonna make dinner but I felt like it was just too late at that point because we stayed at the dog park a little longer than I usually do. So I just ended up eating leftovers for dinner which wasn't very exciting. And then I took a shower and took all my makeup off, did my skincare and now I'm in bed. Just relaxing. Um, I'm gonna watch some TV I think. I don't even know what. I've been really into watching 2020 like I go through phases of watching 2020 episodes where I'm just like super, I mean, I'm always super into true crime, but like sometimes I watch uh, nonstop just like 2020 and then I'll just stop for a while, but because there's so many seasons and so many episodes, it's like the one show I can never run out of. So I'm probably just gonna watch that to be honest. This is why it's so hard for me to wake up in the morning. You guys, he is so snuggly every morning. Good morning guys. I had a little bit of a chaotic morning. I'm now sitting here waiting to run in and grab my Starbucks. Um, I normally pick it up in the drive-thru but the line was wrapped around the building and I was not about to just wait in that line just to avoid going in. I'm like I'll just go in and grab the coffee and stop being lazy. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna run in there grab my coffee and then I have to head to this content shoot. I ended up snuggling Trooper for way too long this morning because it was thunderstorming when my alarm went off and you know when it's thunderstorming, it's just like perfect nap weather and it was so cozy and comfy. There was like no way I could get out of bed. So I kept snoozing my alarm and then by the time I got up, I was like, oh my God, I gotta hurry up. So I just hopped in the shower, got ready and now I'm grabbing a coffee and heading to this content shoot. Luckily, the rest of my work today is just at home. So I'm kind of just getting this out of the way now and then I'll be working from home the rest of the day. I got my coffee. I asked for light cream, but this is like very much barely any cream i've accepted though that i'm just picky about my cream i don't blame the starbucks employees i just am so specific there's no way they're gonna get it right every time and i rather have less cream than too much cream so i'm happy with it it's pouring down rain i seriously do not want to be out right now but i wanted to tell you guys that i'm passing fgcu which is nostalgic since my channel started back during college and so many of you guys um, found me during my college vlogs. It was kind of funny when I passed the university where it all began. now and before I get started on editing I am going to make a copycat recipe for Starbucks egg bites I found this online a while back and I have really wanted to do it and I ordered the silicone molds for it um, little egg bite molds I actually have to wash these first so we're gonna try it maybe they'll be good okay, I just washed the molds here's what they look like they're like perfect egg bite size so I hope these turn out good I'm definitely modifying this a little bit because I don't have everything that it called for, but I think I have all the main things. And I'm gonna do half a cup of cottage cheese. And then a third cup of whatever cheese you want, I'm gonna do this sharp cheddar cheese. I just put this out because I'm going to add some peppers to it and then I'm going to eat a pepper for a snack with some cream cheese on it. And then I'm just going to add some bacon bits. You could also cook your bacon. I just didn't feel like cooking bacon so I just got these real bacon bits. Figured that'll work. And then we mix all of this up. 
I only have one pepper because the other one's just not good anymore. So I think I'm just going to not put pepper in the egg bites and just eat this for a snack because I really wanted to have pepper with cream cheese and everything, but the bagel seasonings, I haven't had that in so long. So I'm gonna save the pepper and just eat it as a snack. I couldn't make this aesthetic because it's me. <laughs> of course not. Okay, it really filled both of them perfectly. So the six eggs recipe was perfect because the one that I was following, well, it had other ingredients in it too, but it also was for 18 eggs. And I was like, I don't need that many. Egg bites in the oven, got my laundry started, and now we are having my little snack. God, I love him so much. Just look at him. Living the freaking dream. out so good I just ate one and I can't believe how much it tastes like Starbucks because it's like really fluffy like I don't know what component in this maybe it's the cottage cheese because I've had like little egg quiches before and they're never like this like the ones that I used to make a while back so I'm wondering if it's the cottage cheese I don't know but super good so I'm gonna have these tomorrow morning and then I just put the other ones in these bags and I'm just gonna freeze them because you can just keep them up in the microwave and they're such a good easy breakfast I keep forgetting that I'm vlogging obviously still trying to get back into this but I just made some chicken carrots and some mac and cheese for dinner super basic meal tonight because what I was gonna make I forgot a key ingredient for that I've been using is this Nescafe ice roast but you have to make it in a separate container first so just get another cup and then you want to do like a tablespoon or so depending on how strong you like it it's like how much I do and then you're gonna mix it with six ounces of water this is the creamer I use it's nut pods um, almond coconut creamer in the flavor coffee cake like the best dairy-free creamer I've found. That's it. It's so good. I am going to be at home today and I want to actually work on some stuff here. We don't have any content shoots or anything like that to do today. So I'm actually like focusing on some stuff here. I really want to cut my hair so I think I'm going to do that first actually. Um, I just want to cut it a little bit shorter because my sister is getting married. Um, in October in the Keys and I'm gonna get long hair extensions again like I used to have um, and so I figured right before that you know like why not just finally try out short hair since I know I'm getting long extensions in October okay here's my little haircut and setup I had to make sure I protect my um, sink because I just don't want a ton of hair like getting everywhere 
So I just cut a trash bag and like spread it out. And I got these little hair ties because I'm gonna section it off to make sure that it's completely even. Um, and I'm gonna wet my hair first to make it easier. out by how much I love my hair right now. This was a risk. I didn't know what to expect. Here it is. I love it so much, you guys. I seriously, I was like so scared. I've wanted to do this for a long time, like go this short, but every time I'm like, no, don't do it. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna be, you know, hating it. Years ago when I was really, really young, I did go like this short, um, well before YouTube, like we're talking about high school days and I hated it. So I always associated it with that, but I think now that I'm a little older and also like my hairstyle is just different, I love it so much. I'm so glad I did it. It's such a like random decision that I made, but I feel like when you're someone that wears extensions like I do, you have like nothing to lose because I mean, I just go get some long extensions like if I hated it, but I really, really love it. The other thing we're gonna attempt to do is reupholster my headboard. I really wanted my headboard to be Sherpa, but all of the Sherpa headboards were insanely expensive that I was looking at online. I just want it to look like my couch. So like, this is what my couch looks like. But like I said, the headboards were just insanely expensive and I was like, I feel like I could do this myself. So I just ordered like a really basic headboard and it's not bad, but I don't like how much it matches the walls. And because I'm in an apartment, I just don't want to paint the walls and then have to deal with that. So I bought a bunch of this fabric that's like fleece Sherpa fabric and we're gonna attempt to reupholster my headboard. I have nothing to lose. I'm just putting it over top of what's already there. And just for reference, here's what the current headboard looks like. It's like this cream colored. Starting the upholstery process, it's gonna be really hard for me to show you guys this though because I'm working with a tiny bit of space. Like I pushed my bed up and yeah, we're working with a little bit of space, but I did the first staple and started wrapping it. And here's kind of what it looks like so far. Board just isn't quite thick enough for my taste so I ordered more I also want to do like the whole not just the headboard but like the bed frame because it matched the headboard and even though I thought it wouldn't bother me just doing the headboard it actually does bother me so I ordered more of the fabric and when I get that in I will do the rest and then I'll show you guys what it looks like because honestly right now it doesn't look that good and I just want the final product to be what I show um, Anyways, I'm gonna make Trooper a lick pad now um, for later because I made him one the other day just to give him like something stimulating to do that keeps him busy, that he enjoys um, whenever I'm like playing video games or something. I mean, mainly that's the reason why I need this because when I play video games, sometimes he gets a little needy for attention and I just wanna give him something fun that he can do while I am doing that and not. So here's what the little lick pad looks like and I'm just gonna put some mashed Banana, pumpkin puree, um, I have in the last one, and then some blueberries, and then I have this Kong like peanut butter stuff. And then I have these little treats that I'm gonna put on there as well. They're like the training treats that I've been using for him. It's a little bit later now, I was about to start making dinner and I am so freaking annoyed you guys because this will now be the second time that I have attempted to make this freaking recipe and realized that I didn't have everything I needed. The first time I went to go make it, that was all that was missing, but I also needed vegetable oil, which seems silly that I don't have, but I don't have vegetable oil and that's what I needed to fry it. But basically I was trying to make copycat 
um, McDonald's chicken snack wraps, like from back in the day, they used to have those and I saw this recipe online and I was like, oh my God, this looks amazing. Here's everything you need it, flour, buttermilk, cornstarch, a couple of seasonings, and obviously the chicken. I didn't really think about the fact that I would be frying it in a pan. I kind of thought I was like pan searing it, but obviously that doesn't even make sense. I don't know why I thought that because they're obviously fried in the photo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't have the right stuff for it. So I kind of think that I might, Ugh, I don't want to put this meal off again. I think I'm going to try it with avocado oil. I do have avocado oil. I don't know how well that will work, but I might just try that. better than I was expecting and also I have an addiction to these right now and I know they're bad for you so please do not leave a comment I already know it's not a good thing to have an addiction to but I can't stop eating these I'm gonna do my nails I'm looking at some inspo on Pinterest I think I'm gonna do like a light pink like this it's really pretty it's not like too summery but I feel like I'm not ready yet for fall nails so this would be a good like transition <laughs> Such a cute, just like light pink color. Ready? Ready? Go. We're in bed now. I think this vlog is long enough. The trooper's ready for bed. And I thought I'd show you guys the book that I'm reading right now. It's called The Locked Door. I really like Frida McFadden. If you're looking for someone that makes really good like psychological thriller books, I have yet to read a book from her that I don't like. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.